Hey everybody, it's Collector Dude. I'm back. I'm going to do another uh, video showing you my Jack Kirby Collector uh, magazine. Um, I've collect, been collecting these for years. Um, I had stopped collecting over time because of different things that were going on in my life and stuff. But I'd like to go back and get them. I see them on Amazon, MyComicShop.com, uh, eBay, and stuff like that. I'm going to try to get them all because they're really good stories. Here. They talk about all the different stuff that Jack Kirby did and all the writers he worked with, all the um, artists he worked with, all the inkers and colorists and everything, um, different things he did in his life. It's just amazing, it's a really good book. But Tomorrow's Publishing puts them out and they're a very good company. If you haven't checked them out, check them out. I'll try to put the information down in my, uh, in the information down below the video. Uh, but um, I had, I didn't get really early issues, but this is number one of the trade. I had like uh, back, I had like issues, I think I started back in the 30s, number 30 and stuff like that, but like I said, I sold them all. But um, these are cool. So so I since I couldn't get those back, um, I wanted to try to uh, get um, these issues and everything. There's, there's, I think there's six or seven of them and I got five. So this is this one here, there's the back, it's like... Uh, how many pages is this? this is like this thing's huge it's like uh, 239 200 240 pages long i mean just talking about jack kirby and his artwork and everything just a lot of reading and everything like that but interviews with him in here um just the artwork and stuff it collects like the early single issues that they had and everything it's just really cool um just different stuff um auction different artwork it, it tells you different things that they did with his artwork and stuff like that um and how he wrote different stuff how he created different things some of the stuff has stunned art of barbarian some of the early uh fantastic four issues and everything that um he did and just interviews with people that knew him and worked with him uh this is number two of the volumes Side. Here's the back. Cool. Here's some like some artwork on the inside of writings. Like I said, but they're very they're very good. I mean, it's just nice to be able to have these. Everything. Um, see different stuff that he worked on. Gives you insight on um, his life and different things that he worked on and stuff that he did from people that uh, worked with him and different stuff that he um, helped people to create and everything. It's just really, it's really cool. cool. Here's number three. Got Thor in the front. Here's the back. say these are the collected versions but like I say you can go back and you can get like um, if you find them you can get single issues on eBay and stuff here's like his some stuff he did with Thundor the Barbarian Ookla the Muck and just I, I just enjoy here here he is with um, Captain America shield <laughs> He was a hero. He like he was in World War II and everything. Just some of the stuff he uh, wrote about, some of his uh, things that he learned, and everything he experienced, and everything he created characters with that. And everything. But I'm showing you real quick. Here's number four. This one's a little thicker here. Here's the back. There's an Alex Ross. He painted over. Um, Jack Kirby's pencils. There's a magazine cover out you can get, um, and I don't. I thought I had it at one time, but now it's worth a lot of money because um, Alex Ross did the artwork on, did the painting over it. But you see how thick this one is. This one's like uh, 240 pages. It looks a little thicker, but that's that one. Let me see. I'll show you something in here real quick. Uh, here's just different stuff in it. You have different writers doing different stories and stuff explaining different things here's one where they show you where this guy came from the guy in the superman animated series made him after jack kirby that's cool here's number five here's the back here's 
Looks like a picture he did of himself. And just stuff inside. Just amazing. The artwork that he... Let me see if I can find something really cool. The stuff that he did. This stuff. Is it what's really nice is like you when you when you when you you know when you're really interested in somebody or someone or some a sport or something like that, you'll take the time to appreciate like the stories that get somebody like if you follow like a somebody who does sports, follow him from high school, her him or her to high school to the pros, everything like that, you're into it and you're you're invested into them and everything like that. You want to know everything about them, see what makes them tick and how they play and everything, and you, you just enjoy uh, knowing uh, knowing that stuff and everything like that, you can kind of understand them and everything like that. Kind of kind of like like if you your kids and everything too, or different people that you uh, respect and admire, and everything like that. You pay attention to their lives and everything, and you hopefully try to emulate what they do and everything. And this is what I when I look at this stuff from um, uh, Jack Kirby and everything, like George Perez and all these different writers and artists and stuff like that, and Kurt Busiek and uh, Mark Wade and uh, Alex Ross, just all of these guys. I mean, it's. Um, they may not be um, somebody like totally like wow well, you, you admire them yeah, yeah, yeah. but not like that it's like you don't you don't think they're a god or something like that but it's something about them that you admire like an actor or if you know somebody um, that's important or something like that um, that you uh, respect or something like that you want to do what they do to make your uh, like they're a teacher to you or something like that you want to do what they do to make your life better um, if you're, or to make you a better artist, if you watch what they do with artwork, Jim Lee and stuff like that, and people like that. Um, and when you get these books, like writing books and stuff like that, I read writing books to see how I can write better. Um, but um, this is another one here. This one's called The Wonder Years. See, I had, there was, that was number five. There was six and seven. Six has like, um, I think Silver Surfer and Galactus on the front. It's a trade paperback like that. And seven has Captain America on the front of it. And then they stopped making them, and they went into um, making tabloid sizes. And I'll show you those next. But these are all like Lee and Kirby, the Wonder Years. It says it has them two on the front. Look at them. Look how young they were. They were young there. Kirby was older than Jack, or older than uh, Stan. But um, some artwork in there. Just talking about different things that they did and stuff here. Jack there, there's Stan. He said he posed like that, but he didn't smoke. He said he just posed for the picture. And these are all the different books they worked on. It talks about them all. It's like I said, the books are really, really um, interesting. And like he did layouts and everything for cartoons and stuff. But that's that one. And now here is, um, I bent this book. I had it sitting on my shelf and everything. And I bent it. I'm like, oh no. So... This is number 31. I had issues before this, like back, uh, I think I started with number 20-something. Uh, there were, wherever the, I had mostly all of these trades, um, tabloid size, but um, you can see the different size of them. You can see like how, how big they are. Like the treasury there, kind of like the treasury editions. But um, here's the cover. And I, uh, I think that's um, Barry Windsor Smith did inks over top of uh, Jack Kirby's pencils, and here's the uh, original right there. So and you see how he, how he inked it. Looks a little bit like Kirby and uh, Barry Windsor Smith, but all of this stuff is just it's just full. Of artwork and everything and stories to explain different things that they're uh, that they've done um, let me see here's a big picture here it's just really cool I mean I, I like these for that here's number uh, 30 what did I say that was that was 31 and then I missed the ones after that like I said I think I sold some of them but I, and I kept these this is 39 right here Black Bolt and the Hawks on the back. And just so many, so much different stuff. There's a whole picture inside. 
Um, but like I said, if you haven't seen, if you haven't seen any of these, check them out online. The Jack Kirby Collector. Go to Tomorrow's Publishing and everything. You'll see it. This is number 40. Commanding on the front cover. In the back. And like some of them are centralized. Central. Like they'll just talk about, depending on who's on the cover, they'll center the, the book or the magazine just about that character or those groups of characters and everything. But um, they do other stuff as well. But uh, I'll just show you the cover so I can get this done before 15 minutes. But I, mean, I want to do flip throughs of these eventually. This is 41. I got the Black Panther on there. And it talks about stories like here's Devil Dinosaur, Moon Moon Boy and Devil Dinosaur. Now it's got it's Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. Now you know if you've been paying attention to collecting the books from Marvel and stuff. But um, I remember when he went from. Uh, DC to Marvel or went from Marvel um, he wanted to do a, a book that wasn't doing real well I think he went from Marvel to DC and he said hey what books aren't doing real well give me some of those don't don't kick people off of uh, books that they've been working on wrong just because I'm here so any book that he put his hands on to well, whew, sold like crazy Jimmy Olsen and stuff like that Superman's pal and stuff like that but here's um, 42 Here's the back. You see here's his his version of it. And I'm not sure who inked that. I think that's um uh, Kevin Nolan. So it's just different. Just big artwork. Big artwork. Okay, here's 43 with Silver Surf on the front. Silver Star on the back. And I think he met, he got to meet, he got to meet Paul Stanley. I think so. Looks like an early picture here. Like I said, it's full of artwork of Jack's. Everything like that. And if you like Jack Kirby artwork, so just to look at everything. Uh, I learned to appreciate it over time and everything. I remember I liked it when I was a kid and then I didn't like it and then I got back into it back in the early um, 90s and everything once I started drawing again because I needed to know how to do layout and make it impressive and everything so I start. My friend Chris told me, say, look at his stuff and see how he does stuff because I was drawing kind of like boring. My layout and everything wasn't there but when I looked at his stuff with George Perez and different things like that, guys that were good, I tried to like look at them and emulate what they did and copy their style and how they did stuff and just get me to think like how to tell a story better and I got better at laying out comics and stuff like that but here's uh this is 44 with a demon on the front and you got Galactus on the back here and he like Jack just he did so many different um stories westerns and um different stuff like the crime stories and everything superhero stuff he just didn't do uh, superhero stuff all the time romance novels and stuff like that and this is cool it's got a story in here this guy is like Clarion he, they used him for Clarion the character Clarion for DC Comics look at him he looks like him but it gives you the story about why how they did that and that's in that book that's number 44 here's about 45 right here Everything just more artwork, the Eternals and stuff. Really awesome. Okay, um, here's 46. I'll just show you the covers now because I'm not like I said I don't want it to go too long. 47. Here's the back. Very cool. Here's 48 or that was 46. This is 47. My mistake. back this was cool I like the toys back in years ago here's 48 here's the back he come up with some wild stuff here's 49 here's the back and it's a wraparound cover so I got to show you the 
There's that. Cool. Here's 50. This is like a really thick book over here. 50. I didn't order this when it first came out. And I found it on eBay. Uh, I can't remember what it was. I think I found it on eBay like for about... It was like 20 bucks or something like that. But um, when I bought it, it was on eBay like for 6 or $7. They were trying to get rid of it. I'm like, what? I bought it right away. I was like, yeah, I'll take that. But he liked to do collages and stuff too. That's him. He liked to do collages and everything. And experiment with all different types of art. And just amazing, amazing artist. You just to look at his stuff and read these, just to appreciate it more when you know where what his thought processes were. Wow. Here. What's that doing? Let me pause it real quick. <laughs> I don't know what that was. A commercial came on in my background noise. Here's uh, 51. Bombast. One of his characters. Man, here's Kazar. That's really cool. Some of his creatures he, he came up with. Here's 52. They even did plays or stuff with his stuff, but you can see if you see the latest um, Thor, Ragnarok, they used like a lot of his designs when he uh, when they did some of their uh, costumes on the planet that he landed on. You, if you watch the um, special features and stuff like that, they talk about how they used a lot of Jack's designs and stuff. Here's uh, 53. Here's the back. That's cool. One thing, like you can see, just they got real big pictures of the artwork, so you can check it out. Everything here is 54. Namor, Silver Surfer. This is really cool. You see, I like all the different stories, Doctor Doom, Mister Impossible. I like all the different stories that they put together. Um, like he did stuff for it, like the black hole movie and everything. And just, just really cool. Like different characters he would come up with. Like all this stuff here. Here's the last one that I have and I gotta, I gotta collect the rest of them. Um, they were going up to, I think they're up to almost 78. 78 is supposed to be coming out next year sometime. But this one, um, and, it's, and, they, and they moved back down to, to magazine size after issue like 61 or something like that. But here's uh, Jack Kirby Collector 50, 55. Wonder Woman. And here's the back. One of his collages. He said, I had these. Like, here's different stuff that he did. Stuff with Stan Lee in there. They put out like a lot of different books at uh, tomorrow, Tomorrow's Publishing. I mean, different stuff that you um, can see. Like, here's um, a story. What is this? This right here shows different people that they want to use for different characters. Everything. Who they would who they would choose back then for different characters. To play them. I thought this was cool. They used the actors back then. To play different characters in movies but that's it hopefully you enjoyed that and everything it was like i said it was real quick hope i didn't rush too mat too fast and everything like that i would like to do um uh, some more stories oh you know what i have two more books i did buy some more this was number 65. i got the magazine size version um when i went to the store but these are here's the front and here's the back and like I said, they got, they got some color stuff in here, different, different art, and different stuff that he did. Some of the early versions of Groot, and like I said, different color that they have in them. So that's 60, 65, and here's the last one that I have right now. Here's 68. Dr. Doom.
here's the back. And let me see, I think they get, might have the black and white version in here. Here's the uh, pencil version that they did. For the color, black and white. So he, did, he put a lot of detail in this stuff. He, Jack didn't play. He knew what he was drawing. He said he, he like he said he could. It was like he had a light table. They said, and he would just look at the page and just draw. And you were like amazed at what he could do. And it's 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 awesome to hear that. And we know this right here is going to be coming out to be a movie or TV show. So that's the early stuff he's got. But that's it. That's the last one I got. I'll be showing more as I get them and everything. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know if you guys are collecting that. Go to tomorrowspublishing.com. Um, like I said, I'm going to put it in the uh, description down below so you can um, see it. And I don't know if I can do a link or not. I'll figure something out. But I'll just show you what it is and you can you can check it out. But uh, there's so many different things. You, like you said, you can go on Amazon. You can go on all the different sites and probably find some of these books or magazines. eBay. People have them want to sell them and stuff like that. I've done that and found a lot of a lot of books that I want to pick up on eBay and stuff like that. But um, that's it. But thank you very much for watching, you guys. And thank you for all the support. Uh, enter my contest for 425 subscribers. You can get a chance to win one of the five books that I'm offering. Um, and check it out. Collect comic books and everything. Enjoy yourself and everything. Have fun. But um, I'm going to get, get ready to go get something to eat. Relax a little bit, maybe something small, a little drink or something like that, and get ready to hit, hit the sit the sack because I get to get up and go to work tomorrow. And everything, but um, had a fun weekend. But well, you guys have a great day. Collect the dude is out.